This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva Luxury Mattress, the only online mattress company that provides free delivery, setup, and mattress removal. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Okay, we just restarted everything. Todd, Christine, your mom's house. Palmcast. Palmcast. That was really low. That's why. Palmcast. Yes. Tom, what's your pronoun today? I uh, feel kind of zimmy, I guess. Zimzer. Yeah. Zay? No, nah, not Zay. I'm feeling traditional, hers, she. Oh, that's rare. Yeah. You don't get that a lot. That's very rare. I don't know. It depends on how this episode goes. I could, I could fluctuate. You could? Where are you going to be? You had a great weekend in Man Diego. I did. So many mommies came out. So thank you for everybody who went to the House of Brews on uh, Saturday night. Super fun. So moving along, fill her up, Delphia. I added a second show at the 945 show. There's some uh, tickets left on that uh, one. Uh, fill her up, Delphia. Get your show, your tickets to that one. And then December 8th, Gramercy Theater sold out. Late show, we're gone. It's all gone, almost, I think. There's like 20 tickets left on the late show. And then January 10th, here in Hollywood at the Comedy Store, I'm doing the main room. January 31st through 2nd of February, Denver, Colorado at the Comedy Works. February 28th through March 2nd, Madison, Wisconsin at the Comedy Club on State. Then in April, I'm doing mini apple tits at Acme. And then uh, May 10th and 11th, Tempe, Arizona. Tempe. Tempe. A lot of people have been asking me about Arizona. I'm doing Tempe at the Improv. And then June 20th through 22nd, Washington Dick Cum. Uh, January. God. It's June. Sorry, June. I'm so yeah. tired. Washington Dick Cum. Yeah. It's pretty. Christina P. Online. All right. Um, that's great. I can finally tell you this. People have asked me, and I believe me, I have, I've been the one trying to find out the most. Uh, the Wellmont show the Wellmont theater show in montclair new jersey that i had to postpone due to a sudden snowstorm uh has been rescheduled the new date is wednesday february 13th so it's official i like that i'm on facebook now and we are going to do that show wednesday february 13th anybody who had tickets to the show that was postponed the tickets will be honored at this show. If you are not able to attend the February 13th show or no longer wish to attend the show, you can get a full refund at your point of purchase. So there's that. Um, that means that there'll probably be, become uh, a few tickets available since some people won't be able to go to the new date. It's now February 13th. Um, Man Fran Disco, I should tell you that the, uh, the show that was added January 4th is getting close. We're not going to add a third. So if you wanted to come to San Francisco show at the Masonic January 4th, this would be the time to get it. And the one other thing I can tell you besides telling you that all the new and 2019 shows are at TomSegura.com is we added a show in Nashville at the Ryman Auditorium. The first show, February, or excuse me, April 14th, sold out. There's a few single tickets left, but it's essentially a sellout. So we added a late show. April 14th in Nashville, Tennessee at the Ryman. I'm very excited to go there. Thanks for getting those tickets and thanks for wearing your jeans so high and tight. Mom. Ma 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 Try it out. Ma ma ma. Gene, let's get into it. We've got a big show, lots to do, lots to talk about. Ready? I'm ready. Maybe put your phone down. It's time to go to work. We don't have time to like just text all right. No? You're not ready? I'm ready. I'm listening to you. Okay. But I mean, you know, here we go. If you want to do it. Just wanna... spoke to Wesley. And besides that, he said you were a class player and, and you let him alive in the first session. He said that it was smelly on the stage. I thought he had shipped. 
Sorry? I thought, where's the farted on stage? Yeah. Did he? This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This looks professional. Mm-hmm. Darts. Oh, is this what that is? Yeah. That's pretty funny. You say, it looked like he farted and shit on himself. And like, I think darts are the only sport where they like, like, let's keep talking about it. Yeah. Like, what'd you think? What'd you say? And he's like, yeah, yeah, he did fart on stage. Yeah. Well, darts are crazy because they put them in pubs, which is probably the mm-hmm. worst place you could throw around sharp objects is when people are drinking and oh, drinking heavily. It's crazy. You can really not give a fuck about your overall fit. I mean, look at this. This guy's probably one of the best in the world at this. Sure. Look at him. No, he looks like hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> Same with baseball players, though. They don't look good either. <laughs> That's true. Baseball, you can really let yourself go, especially if you're a pitcher or a first baseman. You can really let yourself go. But they do have to run in baseball. Yeah, at times. There, there, uh, <laughs> certain posi- There's funny that there's certain positions where you kind of don't have to, you know, like if you're a pitcher, you're never going to run. No. If you're a catcher, you don't have to run, really. No. Uh, first baseman. You're never running during the game. I mean, during when you're on def- like maybe if you are batting, yeah. obviously you have to run around the bases, but there's guys that just, yeah, they're just huge and out of shape and they're good at baseball. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so kind of, but this, you can, this is, you can be far less athletic yeah. and be world class. And look like this. Yeah. I mean, this is a, yeah. He's a not post bad, tournament. No, this guy's not, you know, horrible, but I'm saying you wouldn't see this guy and go, probably world class athlete of some kind no you know? no you know just spoke to wesley and besides that he said you were a class player and, and you let him alive in the first session he said that it was smelly on the stage i thought he had shit sorry i thought where's that fart on the stage yeah. did, he? did they did they who the fuck is watching darts man that's what you really gotta ask i mean it is one of those things where if you've ever, everyone's usually had at least a go at throwing a dart. Sure. I've done it. I've done it ten times. Sure, you know, I never like was obsessed with it. And then when you, you know, when you throw a good one, you're like, whoa! But you feel like it's by chance. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, everyone usually has a friend that is actually kind of proficient. You go, wow! Like you can actually hit where you're aiming. That's sure. pretty wild. But then these guys really are just unbelievable at it are they are they are they just drunks like these guys well, hang out in the why pubs. can't you be both yeah that's a good point you and know? that is really the benefit of being a professional dart player is yeah. that you can be an alcoholic <laughs> and a professional athlete <laughs> at the same time i want to see if he keeps talking about shitting because i think he might yeah <laughs> no he, he, well i think he thinks you did it you can put your finger up last, so there'll be no smell there. I thought he had shit, and I went, that's dirty. This it was bad. <laughs> this it was bad. It was bad. I just think I thought it was him. This is a pro-level interview. Sure. He said, you can put your finger up my ass. There's no smell there. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish all sports, if, if football players were uh, saying this kind of stuff, I'd watch football. I've talked about this for years. I talked about how I would pay so much money, so much money, really, if they were like, we're going to, you can pay to hear the on-field mic on during the whole game right like a pay-per-view extra yeah i, I would pay for that too because that would be that's how all much the is game. it how, yeah. just tell me the, the amount yeah, dude i'm writing the check immediately seriously fucking bitch like to yeah. hear all that <laughs> trash talk oh yeah. i don't you know but they have to protect their wholesome image which is know? horse shit oh, cool. it's the nfl it's the oh, most violent fucking game we have bunch of slap dicks oh that's why i so like great Rex Ryan so much because he was always talking some and there'd shit. And there be so many big words. There's a lot of big words between said. the players. Oh, yeah. yeah, of course. Really? Like, of what's course. the big word? Well, I'll just let you guess. But this uh, here, this is. No. He, he, well, I think he thinks you did it. You can put your finger up last. There'll be no smell there. I thought he had shit, and I went, "That's dirty." It was bad. It was bad. It was bad. It was a stink. I thought it was him, and he started playing better. I went, "Must have needed to get some wind out." What? What was the last part? Uh, Must have been something. A window? Better. Open the window? Is that what he said? He went away to. Huh? It was bad. It was a stink. I thought it was him, and he started playing better. I went. Must have needed to get some wind out. Oh, oh he started playing better. better. He must have needed to get some, some wind, wind out. out. Yeah, yeah. I, I like know. that the the interviewer feels the need to discuss the fart. <laughs> Clarify like, things. God. Wait, because he's saying you farted. And he's like, <laughs> put your finger up my ass. There's no smell there. 
<laughs> yeah. It's playing better. He needed to get some. Uh, and look how happy he is. He he's loves like, it, yeah. He's like, yeah, he farted and he started playing better. Well, see, that's the thing about life and then the representation of life on television. Like, why can't we just discuss the guy that the guy farted? It's not a big deal. It's but a you're, fart. You're right. But the NFL and them, they're like, well, we can't. We have a wholesome. Like, well, it's yeah. this whole delusion so that goes on. Because you know people at home are farting. Everyone's talking. Farting. Everyone at home is being like, when they watch like football games here, they're going like, oh, I'd love to hear what that guy just said right there. Of course. And they're sitting there guessing. They're probably saying like, oh, you probably told him to suck his fucking dick. Yeah. Like that's what they're saying at yeah, home. I know. But you're like, no, 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 no. We can't sell Buick ads if we do that. You know? Well, that's because there's a, there's a level of human out there that's in, in denial about real life too. Like they don't want to know that farts exist and, and things of that nature, which Unreal. is bizarre to me. And he thought it was you. Oh, no. Hands up. Swear on my kid's life. So help me God, nothing crossed. But it was smelly anyway. It was smelly. You were half fat and scared to shit myself. And you know that because I've told you in a documentary, ain't scared to. If, if I'd farted, it smelled like that. I'd put my hands up and go, oh, sorry. You know what's great is that they're still discussing the fart. Yeah, and he's still and he's saying it's still going on. I'm not ashamed to admit when yeah. I do that. I would have said I farted there. Sure. But let's see. Sorry. And he thought it was you. Oh no, hands up. I swear on my kid's life. So help me God, nothing crossed. But this it was smelly best. anyway. It was smelly. Usually if I fart on stage, I shit myself. And you know that because I've told you in a documentary, ain't scared to, if, if I'd farted, it smelled like that. I'd put my hands up and go, oh, sorry. This guy's great. Yeah. This just, just, just became my new favorite professional me sport. Me too. <laughs> we got to follow darts. <sighs> so who was it then? Darts. Well, don't tell me. You've got our three boys up there. So... <laughs> No, it definitely came from it was the other table guys. side. And it was, it was eggs, rotten eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Not from you. Not for me. No. 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 Okay, thank you. And every time we walked past, it was a waft of rotten eggs. So that's why I was thinking it was him. <laughs> We're you. still discussing so the part. Yeah. He's so sincere. I figured this is what, this is what like Joey Diaz would be like if he was like professional. Yeah. You know, at any of this. He would be going interviews about like, do you smell that shit during the match? That wasn't me, dog. I would have told you I fucking fart. <laughs> yeah, he would totally be like that. Uh, Unreal, man. Yeah. I, I, I feel like it. it has to do with darts, the world of darts, and also that they have a better, they're more comfortable with talking about, you know, they're not so serious over there. Yeah, I mean, look. Oddly enough, because it, the high society is very serious. Well, they're not high. Listen, if you're no, specializing in darts, you're hanging out in bars. But that's, that's, but that's pub culture. That's why these guys hang out in bars, get hammered, and throw uh, throw needles around. Yeah. Yeah, it was smelly. <laughs> yeah, it's like watching shuffleboard though. It's got to be so goddamn boring. Yeah, is shuffleboard professional? There probably there's probably a pro level of of everything. Well, the but the dark guys will actually. I mean, they're not playing for like you know NBA NFL money, but they'll actually make money in these tournaments. I'm sure. You know? The only thing more boring is that uh, curling that the Canadians do. I mean, what the fuck is that even That's about? That's an Olympic event. You can be in a. That's <laughs> so boring. <laughs> what are we watching? The On the sweeping? hockey puck going. No, it's horrible. That is so fucking boring. It's sweeping, right? It's how yeah. fast you can sweep. Well, you you they shut. You know, somebody pushes it, and then the people sweep the ice right in front right. of it. But then you also want it to stop in a certain place. You know. You yeah. Want, you want to knock that next motherfuckers out, I think, too. Oh, okay. So it's like shuffleboard. I guess. On yeah. ice, yeah. the bigger. It was. It was eggs. Rotten eggs. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. farts. <laughs> I had so many last night. Well, we're just coming out of Thanksgiving week. Yeah. And Lots that. of farts all week. It's probably oh. the fartiest <laughs> week in America for sure. Imagine all the farts and shit that happened. I know. And then this morning I made brown and I had to do a shit to shower. Because normally I rely on the Toto to clean up the remnants. Mm -hmm. But there was so much of a smear on the toilet paper. God. It was like a Hershey kiss was melted in there, and I, I just knew that I needed soap and water. Why did you just enough. run the bidet? I did. I was telling you that, yeah, but I still get the leaky butt. Oh. It's like a never-ending wipe. <laughs> You've never what do you think caused that? it? Mediterranean? Yeah, I went Mediterranean. Yeah. And then we had sausage last night, like, the, I'm sorry, the salams. Oh, right. So processed meats on top of Mediterranean. I did a late night TJ run. Yeah. Not late night, but late for Eight us. Eight o'clock for us. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was like stepping back in time. For some reason, uh, I didn't even know there was one nearby. 
they do a bad job of like the sign is not you, even you're there. very upset with their uh, lack of proper signage i'm serious it's like it's tucked away and i know even if you put the uh put the navigation on it tells you to go off a side street to go into there i mean it's just it's weird but anyway that used to be our spot um when we lived in silver lake many years ago we had a TJ on our street, like a block. We could walk to it. Mm-hmm. And that was, we lived at Trader Joe. And Trader's then, Joe. Trader's Joe. And then there was uh, the Say Cheese next door. Yeah, on Hyperion. Yeah. And that was great, too. Cheese yeah. store. Spent a lot of, spent money we did not have at the oh, cheese store. Oh, for sure. But it felt like, you know, seeing the old treats there, I was like, oh, this yeah. is like a flashback. Trader's Joe has, and especially I like the seasonal items, too. They got that gingerbread house you can make now. My favorite are the, those Italian squares, the chocolate wafer the squares. Chocolate squares, yes. Uh, they did not have those last not night, Not here. You said. No, the guy was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm like, do you not fucking work at Trader's Joe? Yeah. I couldn't Stupid. believe it. And then I like their prosciutto, the German prosciutto. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gouda, we got to get your Gouda wheel. I got to tell you. Huge fan of that Gouda. Really there. good prices, buddy. <laughs> really good prices. Yeah, it was that Eddie Pepitone who was like, you get like yeah. b- b- five bags of stuff for $100. Yeah, it's true, though. So true. It is true. It's the best. I asked for a wine recommendation, and the guy like knows his stuff, and he's telling you know regions and this and that, and yeah. he goes, this is... A really good bottle. It's got these notes, and you know, I was like, okay. I go, you know, I'm not that particular, but he's like, oh, you know, when my cousin got married, we actually brought a case of these, and it was, it's amazing. It's great wine. I said, all right, it was, it's like seven bucks. It's crazy. You know what I really like there yeah. are the freeze dried strawberries. Have you ever tr- gotten a pouch full of those fro- freezing, frozen dried I strawberries? Not. I have it's not. A- <laughs> the thing is, it's uh, they're just strawberries, but they're prepared like astronaut food. So they're crunchy. It's just fun. It's like a silly way to eat your your bra strawberries. It was. It's a good time. Now I also like their uh, dried apricots, and and you know those give me intense farts. Yeah, intense. They farts. do. I always like to leave when I know you're going to have <laughs> dried apricots, or I encourage you to eat them when I'm out of town. Yeah, and those will make me shit. Oh yeah, they will make you shit. What makes you shit? Ah, oh, so many things. <laughs> Fried foods make me shit bad. That's true. That's diarrhea. <laughs> That's not really a farter. It's like just in. It's straight to seven. That's what I call it. Take a bite. I go. This is a straight to seven. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's just anything fried is what you're Oof, saying. It's just really yeah. yeah messy. Yeah. It's it's bad. Do you ever go to? Sh- yeah. Do you ever shower after you dump like me, or do you just let the bidet? There's days. Yeah. I mean, like I like I like to see. If I can handle everything with the bidet, I'll do two bidet full washes, you know. Two. Yeah, but if I'm doing, if it's a leaky, I'm like, what's going on? Leaky butt. And then I wipe again and it's, it's still a smear. <laughs> I'm like, I got to take a shower. It bothers but me. How come though? And I'm, <laughs> I'm being serious. It's a very serious scientific question. Yeah. How come when you have like a mushy wipe, okay? Yeah. And then. I thought he had shit and I went, no, it's dirty. <laughs> But how come when I wash it out with soap and water, it stops the leaky butt? But let's just say I just do a washlet, but I do a thorough washlet. It's make, it's not the same. Why does the soap stop it? It doesn't make it? sense. It doesn't make sense. I agree. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I'm being sincere. I'm being sincere. Can somebody in the medical community <laughs> tell me why the soap and the wash does a more thorough job? It stops the leaky butt right in its tracks. It's a great question. I'm serious. It's a great question. <laughs> There are doctors that listen unbelievably to this <laughs> nonsense. So they can, the question she's asking is, how come, you know what I think it might have something to do with though? <laughs> Standing up for a while. Because oh, sometimes, okay. There's a theory. You know, like, okay. like my dad used to tell me, he's like, sometimes you need to stand up, let everything fall back into place. Yeah, he's right. Because when you no, sit right. down, everything kind of gapes <gasps> and opens. <laughs> that's a really good point yeah so it's not you're telling wait a minute you're telling me it's not the soap and the water and the wash that's doing it but that rather i'm standing and my muscles are kind of going back mm-hmm. and i'm i'm interesting it's all yeah. going back wow now speaking of butt topics we had a guest over at our home um who's a physician's assistant Mm-hmm. And uh, we were getting to hear some cool stories about working in an ER as a physician's assistant. And um, this person was telling us that they saw a lot of things in people's butts. A lot. 
that it's it never stops. Isn't that funny? A plastic cup. A plastic a cup. cup. How do you even get a cup in your butt? And this, I mean, in this case, this guy just happened to stumble right onto it. But <laughs> sometimes people put them in there. Do you know how stupid I was when? Because she made that joke. She was yeah. like, "Oh, he just fell out on the hat," and I was like, "Really? That can happen?" Like I totally didn't. You're being sincere. Yeah. Why would? But that's like a, a cup. Why would you put a cup in your butt? Like a red one. I like the color makes a difference. No, no, it's like a type of <laughs> I know, cup, right? Like solo the red cup, cup yeah. solo cup, yeah. I don't know. I mean, you just got to. It's probably just what's around. You're like, I want something in my ass, and you finish, <laughs> and you're like, well, I'm not using this anymore. Why don't you put that in your ass? I, I want to recycle. I don't want to throw. One it in of your trash. favorite segments here: uh, drugs or mental illness? Yeah. Here we go. Okie doke. <laughs> Oh, hmm. uh, that was pretty. I don't care. Put me on World Star. I'm already famous on World Star. I got you. I got you. Put me on World Star. I if the old bitch wants to fucking flirt with a bitch and scoop macaroni and cheese, he's going to get macaroni Tell, tell the camera what, what, what he did. Tell the camera what he did. I'm the shit. Ain't no bitch hotter than me. Ain't more, no bitch more paid than me. Fuck all you fucking bitches. Therefore. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck all you bitches. Ain't nobody got $10,000 tits like me. $10,000 on my titties, bitch. <laughs> oh my God, you left me. Hmm. What's going on? What is, what's your theory? Whoa, is she running into the street? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh she my is God. running in the street. I got it. I got it. This guy's so happy he's got a video. Um, ah, well, look. Apparently that's a porn star. Oh, is that right? That's what it says here. Uh, what do you think? Drugs or mental illness? She's a porn star and a rapper. Hmm. Oh, there's another clip of her hitting her boyfriend. And that Jesus. God. Well, I tell you what. Uh, the, ti- uh, w- the time of day, it's broad daylight. Well, I don't think that matters. I guess people do drugs all day long. Yeah. She's really heated, though. That's not a normal. And it's in the eyes. And those eyes tell you... Crazy. I'm going to go mental illness on so this too. one. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I think less drugs, more rage, more more emotion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go mental illness coupled with drugs, maybe? So you're saying both. Yeah, a little, little bit of both. A little bit of everything. The thing is, they're usually not far apart. They usually like to hang out together. So, <laughs> could be. Um, Bitch, I'm Heidi Fleiss. Bitch, I'm Heidi Fleiss. Bitch, I'm Heidi Fleiss. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Heidi Fleiss. This is her video. I'm wet. I'm wild. I'm wet. I'm wild. I'm wet. Can I tell you something I was thinking right here? Hmm. Um, safety. Yeah. Safety issue. Yeah, right. Good point. She's wearing stilettos standing on a drain cover. Yeah, it's not smart. And there's just, there's holes in it, and I'm really worried about her yeah. safety. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I'm, I'm seeing maybe a tib-fib fracture happening. Tib-fib. Yep, mm, tib-fib mm, could mm, just go mm. like that if wow. she takes a wrong step. I mean, look. Why would she look, do that? Look at this one. This one's, it's, it's right, right there. there on the edge. It's right there. I know. I I'm feel nervous it. about it. I'm, I'm sitting here like. I know. You're going to get hurt. It's a nail biter. It's really not good to stand like no. that. No. But this is her video. She might need to pair up with Nick Hawk. May may I tell you what's offensive about this video already? Yeah. She goes, bitch, I'm Heidi Flies. But let me tell you something about Heidi Flies. Yeah. That bitch is a fucking genius. Well, that's why she's saying it. Yeah, but she ain't no Heidi Flies. But I mean. She's just a hoe. Heidi was the hoe. She was the the pimp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a smart lady. Hoe manager. Yeah. Yeah. No. This bitch can't even say her name. Hoes on the strip. Yeah, it's politics. Politician shit. Hollywood madam bitch. Yeah. Make it gushy. Then kill the pussy. I don't like mushy. So please don't push me. I think one of the things she should invest in is um, maybe some other mics. Some of the yeah, it's not the highest quality audio. No, she needs help. Um, production value is production's a low, low. Yeah, but then again, it might be her first song. You never know. You gotta start somewhere. Out in LA, first million four months, a hundred bucks a night. Count this money up. Try not to stress me. Never mess with me. I know you wanna sex me, but are you really ready? I think 
to I'm, I'm not a big again. Fan. I gotta say I'm a big fan. I'm not I'm not good at rapping. Yeah. But I even I know that her tempo is not right, like she's not keeping up with the Oh, you're saying <laughs> you're saying just like the pacing. Yeah, the pacing's off and she's yeah. like you want to get money. You yeah. want to get money. It, it's off, right? You know, it, it, but it's also, I mean, you remember your first set? You know what I mean? You got to get, you got to work at it. <laughs> but I think. I don't want to discourage anyone. I don't want to discourage anybody's art, but I think she needs a little help with the tempo. And okay. The, the I'm the shit. <laughs> yeah, she's the shit though. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm I, the shit. But you have to have some kind of native timing. Yeah. Native sense of timing, right? Like. Yeah. It's intuitive. I, I Ain't nobody something. got ten thousand dollar tits like me. Actually a lot of people have ten thousand dollar tits. Right? Um let's see if she's really Is it does ten thousand dollars seem low to you for a pair of boobs? I mean that seems really cheap to me for tits. Um yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I'm looking up her uh her porno category. Oh, okay. What what kind of stuff does she do? All right, here's some descriptions. What do you of... wait, let me guess first. I'm going to okay. go she's the she's does the interracial a lot of black guy stuff, like okay. black. I'm going to go for just just judging by her demeanor what I've seen. I'm going to go for um interracial gangbang. Like the five black guys on her kind of thing. Jesus. All right. Well, here's some descriptions. Okay. These are just the scene descriptions, go ahead. okay? All right, uh, Bella Reese riding a cock while her girlfriend watches. Ah. Uh, busty Bella Reese, plump pussy slam from behind. Okay, yeah. sounds pretty vanilla. Hot Bella Reese gets pounded by her ebony lover. Okay. So you're right there. Okay. Um, Bella Reese gets her big ass ready for an ass fuck. Huh. So she does anal. She's kind of all over the place. I don't see her specializing in, in any Well, genre. there's a lot of these are actually anal. Bella Reese oh, okay. gets her tight asshole assaulted. Okay. Um, Bella Reese begging for a dick pounding up her ass. Oh, okay. So it seems like maybe she's um, she uses her butthole a lot. She's anal girl. Yeah. Um, okay. Looks like. I wouldn't have guessed that. I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, it looks like she fucked her trainer at the gym. I didn't know that. Hmm. It says here. Oh. But Italian Bay Bella Reese takes on a black monster cock. Yeah, she likes black guys. Well, her boyfriend is. That, sure. that was her boyfriend in the video. Sure. Um, and then it just says Bella Reese with a dude camping, uh, and she fucks his big cock. What else would? You, uh, it's funny that hmm. they would do, they would let you know that that's what she does. She fucks the the big cock. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, there you go. Wow. Well, wow, good for her. Yeah, she looks like she does. Um, she definitely does it for real. However, I would say that if I were um, an adult entertainer, that I would try to make songs too. I feel like you it's would? a good marketing tool. Like if she was decent at it, man. And if you're good at it, yeah, that could be a real thing. You know yeah. how dope that would be if you she was a porn star that could rap. That would be kind of rap. Imagine if like you're if you actually started selling album stuff. Yeah, but here's dude. the thing, but you didn't quit porn. See, all the time whenever right. whenever uh, the other stuff takes off for the porn person, they're like, oh, I'm stopping porn. Right. What if you kept doing porn? That's what I mean. That'd be hardcore. That would be rad. That'd be some G shit right there. Yeah. Yeah. You'd sell so many um, more of everything. I want to get to this before we have to take our break. We have a guest coming in a little while. But it was so popular this past week. Sure. I mean, it was just out of control. Uh, there are more Good Morning Julia submissions. I can't get enough. I, can I tell you that? I can't get enough. And I watched it when I was away over the weekend, even. So his funny. video. Like, yeah. I can't stop. I can't stop watching Joe. <laughs> God. Uh, good morning, Julia. Um, I, even, right. I even rewatched our submissions from last week. That's I what I'm saying. The guy with so the fans. funny. The guy with the fans was uh, fucking amazing. I have not seen any of these. Just <laughs> heads up. I have not seen any of these. Blue Band uh, put these in a folder for me. So I'm I'm seeing these for the first time, just like you are. Good morning. Just, just like Christina is. Okay. Good morning, Julia. Here is Jacob. Here we go. Uh, good morning, Julia. He's on a construction site. Hey, baby. <laughs> I, just, I just hope you have a beautiful day as beautiful huge, as you are, Julia. Huge industrial fan. I just want to say that that 28 seconds talking to you the other day was the best day of my life, Julia. And I just I want to be with you and... Make you feel like a woman and Ugh. make you forget about that ex of yours and slit his throat. And <laughs> I just, 
I just know we're going to have a good time together and go full throttle, baby. <laughs> and uh, this is where I work. I put all the plumbing in here, <laughs> the, the dirt. I did everything. I did the Julia. dirt. <laughs> and that's the type of man you're dealing with. Look at me, that fan. I just, I hope to hear back from you soon, baby. Yes. Have a great day. Full throttle. <laughs> you know what that guy really captured? Mm. I'd like the fan work. I like the dirt. The movement? The eyes. Oh, the eyes, yeah. No, his intense, relentless eye contact. Yeah. Because you notice the Joe. Which is really a seductive, comforting thing for a woman to see, <laughs> right? Like when a woman, when a man uh, yeah. doesn't break or blink. It's yeah, relentless. It feels and good. I, I think he, he captured the essence of Joe, this guy, because of the, the relentlessness of the eye contact. And by the way, the yeah. real Julia, we've been in contact, we've been trying... She has a job that doesn't allow her to um, always match our schedule, but we continue to stay in contact, right. and we're still fingers crossed for possibly next week. I can't believe she's not making your mom's house podcast her priority. I know, I know. <laughs> she really should be. Um, Fucking quit that job and take our call, Julia. Here's this Faith. This is so important. Uh, Good morning, Julia. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that getting to spend my anniversary with you the other day it was one of the greatest <laughs> moments of my life. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll hop off of here, but have a good day, baby. Ciao. Ugh. She spent her anniversary with Julia. She did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, I love by the, the way, lady. She got it, too. Female submission. I love it. And she nailed his accent oh, and yeah. the creepiness of the look. <laughs> very, very nice. Nailed it. He's oh, gone. there you go. Good morning, Julia. Yeah, more fans. It's me, Joe. Just want to let you know these fans go full throttle. <laughs> Stupid. That uh, he's got that the accent down perfect. Yes. Who is this? This is uh, Chris. Good morning. Good morning, Julia. I'm so excited. I can hardly contain it. I don't know if you recognize this, but I'm in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> I was fixing your bed frame. <laughs> With some restraints, and uh, I heard you coming in through the front door. <laughs> oh, the locks back. Terrifying. <laughs> Kudos. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I could be fixing in your closet here as well. <laughs> but uh, I fell asleep. I can't wait to crawl into bed with you. Oh, oh my god! god. I'm so fucking full throttle on you when I get in that bed. Anyways. <laughs> We'll see you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That was great. If you're listening, it oh, ends my God. with a ski mask being put on. <laughs> Here's Dan. Hey, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> see all this? All this? I built all this myself. Every tree, He's every a, limb, He's every branch, forest. every flake, every leaf. I built it all. <laughs> and I'll build it for you, Julia. <laughs> uh, it's so the amazing. kiss now really makes me yeah, st makes my stomach kiss turn. Kiss is the weirdest. <laughs> the kiss is so weird. What do you think Joe's doing? Do you think he's commit suicide yet? With I all don't. this horribleness, Fuck, man. I don't want him to. Uh, no, sure. neither do I. But I'm just saying uh, he's got it. Where is Joe? Yeah, we gotta talk see. to him. We can figure out his life. Did he? Uh, here's <laughs> so the... this is the type of guy you get. Oh, <laughs> so poor Joe. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Mwah. Oh, yeah. Ciao, baby. <laughs> Mwah. 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 Ciao, baby. The kiss is like... No good. And here's Darren. Good morning, Julia. <laughs> I just wanted to show you my uh, basement. I dug it completely with my bare hands. I dug it to the ground. I dug it all for you, Julia. I want you to see this because you'll be spending lots of time down here, Julia. <laughs> I love you. You're my flower. You're my precious. You're my everything. Oh. We'll be going full throttle down here in the basement, Julia. Mwah. <laughs> Do you know what I like about this one? The suit? Uh, the suit. I feel like this This is the biggest departure from this dude's real personality. I think so. I was thinking and that, that's too. that's what yeah. I really like about this. Yeah. Is that this guy... This is really stepping out for him. Dude, this could be like a, an attorney or somebody yeah. real. Yeah, somebody's going to be like, I hired you to defend yeah. me in court, <laughs> and you're doing Good Morning Julia videos? <laughs> good morning, Julia. Good morning, Julia. 
Um, <laughs> my everything. And I have to say that Tom and I have started texting each other, good morning, Julia. And that's what we say to each other now yeah. when the other one wakes up. It's good morning, It's pretty great. <laughs> it's taken over the house. Um, it's taken over our lives. <laughs> I got to get going here. I got to go pick up Skeetle. Me and you. Me and you. He doesn't say his T's. Me and you. Yeah. I got <laughs> that maybe right before. Um, leftover two liter of Diet Coke. I figured I would try to do um, a uh -huh. remake of my two liter no burp chugging challenge video. Oh, okay. Okay, no burp chugging <laughs> I didn't know that was a challenge. Coke, no burp challenge. Oh, boy. It's up number two. Oh, I hope he can go. do it. I'm so Got nervous him. for him on He's tender hooks. This guy's drinking a fucking two liter of Coke Zero. Oh, my God. Without burping? No, it's all for It's almost oh. done. Ugh. Oh. He's crazy. Oh. What is he doing? That's, got, that's not good for you. No, of course not. He's a crazy person. Oh, oh he's going to throw God. up. <laughs> that's not real. I don't know. I think it is. That's how our baby burps. He oh. burps so big like this kid. I, I saved that for you. I was going to play that right at the break. Oh. <laughs> God, thanks. You, you know you like that stuff. It's like booger. I like yeah. that. It's like a booger burp. Okay, we're back after multiple breaks. Um, we are joined by our guest, comedian, improviser, actor. I want to make sure I get it right. Right. Khalil Sheikh Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Most um, people can't pronounce it as, as well as you do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, TSA does it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll shake uh, Muhammad. <laughs> no, it's the great Fahim Anwar is here, and he has, before, I don't want to get uh, too far away from it, to, well, tonight, if you're listening. Oh, this comes out tomorrow? No, you're wrong. You're right. It comes out tonight in audio and tomorrow on video. Okay. So yeah. let's just say Wednesday, right? Tuesday. Tu Tuesday, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Tuesday, and, and they'll replay it and everything, but yeah. um, just so people know, uh, it's a one-off sketch Special, yeah, one called, hour sketch comedy special called Goat Face. Goat Face, yeah, it's with Hassan Minhaj from Daily Show. It's on Patriot Act now. Me, Aristotle Theorist, and Asif Ali. We did wow. YouTube sketch way back in the day. <laughs> wow, sounds like a lot of enemy on that it's one. A lot yeah. of, yeah, it's yeah. a little darker yeah. than most of the programming sure. I watch. But, sure, I mean, I. <laughs> I'm but into it's it. It's not too dark, though. You know? <laughs> no, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're some way in between. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're like a gateway. Yeah. Like, you look like you were, I don't know, in Hawaii for the week. It works for me. <laughs> right. But, and I know. do tell people that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's just you much do? easier than explaining what's than explaining my, my, where my parents were born. Really? You're like, you're like <laughs> I was in Hawaii. I'm, I'm in Hawaii. Yeah. Which island? <laughs> the big one. <laughs> the big one. Um, he is from Afghanistan, just you know, which I don't, I've never really met. I've well, someone from there he? besides his parents are. Oh, you my say blood, he. my blood's from there, dude. Yeah, but he's from here. He's from, he's from Seattle. Seattle. That's the Afghanistan of America. <laughs> That's right. He's from our Afghanistan. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Yeah, you don't that's, know? On, that's on all the bumper I'm trying, stickers. I'm trying to think of where the actual Afghanistan of America is. It's definitely not Seattle. It's not phenomenal. <laughs> it's not. I love Seattle. It's not. No. Um, let me ask you this. Um, so when you were, I, I imagine that there's actually probably a, I'm guessing a big Afghan maybe population. Up no, there? actually. No. Yeah. No. Really. That's why I think I am the way I am. Just there weren't a ton of Afghans. I mean, growing up, some you know other when I would see other Afghans and stuff, like there's a bigger population in Orange County, I would say, Virginia, uh, Virginia. Fremont, California. Yeah, like, Virginia, uh, The Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. Those are kind of like there's Afghan There's very hotbeds. fascinating um, hotbeds of certain cultures in places you don't imagine yes. in the United States. So I think um, like one of them shows up somewhere and they're just like, hey, everybody. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Fremont's like, where it's at. Yeah. I like, was always fascinated by... The number of Eritreans and Ethiopians in Minneapolis, for instance. Right. Enormous rare, population. Rare. They go to Minneapolis and D.C. Why? I don't fucking know. I think there's just such a network there already. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah. That's it right. Makes they it bring the family kinda... over. Like Cleveland, Hungarians, Polacks, yeah. my tribe, Chicago. Yes. Hungarians, Polacks, yeah, that, L.A., Hungarians. That's right. That's right. A lot of Ruskies out here, too. A lot of those Ruskies. Yeah. I they, think it's true. Like, your family, you're like, come over here. Come stay with so us. So then the next why did know. they pick Seattle if there wasn't a big hotbed there? Well, my dad was finishing up university. Uh-huh. 
and they were. That's like how a foreign says it. <coughs> foreign yeah. university. I was going to university. university. I was going to yeah, yeah. Or yeah. like, where is the discotheque? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah discotheque. Yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> totally. Just certain. Where term. did you do university? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, did he finish university? No, here? he did it. Yeah, he, did, he he studied here in America. Okay. I'm so bad at this. I should know because he, he came twice. He, he came to North Dakota and Minnesota. I don't know which is which. Mm-hmm. So he's finishing up his engineering degree. And then Boeing came by because they're trying to do recruitment. Mm-hmm. And they had a brochure of Seattle. And so yeah. my mom and my dad are looking at this bro- brochure. This is all they know about Seattle. They see the Space Needle and they're like, looks good. Yeah. <laughs> so then they, yeah, they head out to Seattle. Now, do you have the hat in your house that I, we were talking about earlier? The Afghan Oh, the Afghan hat. hat. It's somewhere in a closet somewhere. Seriously though, yeah. right? Yeah. Because Hungarians, we always have a horsehair canteen. Uh-huh. You hang that in the hallway. Uh-huh. And then like a horn. You know, there's like just a certain like hallmarks. Horn. Yeah. What would it be cultures. if you're American in another country? Would it just be like an apple pie tin? An and apple pie tin. Like, a beer cozy. Like a Kid Rock CD. Yeah, yeah. totally. I don't know. What's an no. American thing? American. Oh, like that? Like, what's uh, your yeah, horse what, what would just like see? telegraph? Ameri- <laughs> Letterman's jacket? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Um, you know what? Like a lot of like foreigners, at least I have South American foreign, you know, uh, blood and, and family. So I would go down there a lot. They always thought James Dean, the look of a white T-shirt and yes. jeans uh-huh. screamed American. It does. So sometimes, you know, now we always go like, oh, God, I don't want to seem American anywhere. But in certain times, like if you were going to discotheque right. in Sud America, you would put that on and they would be like, then you were like exotic. Right, so they were like white T-shirt, blue jeans. They're like, this is American. Guy. Blue jeans, yeah. blue yeah. jeans. Screams American. I like sometimes. Sometimes you'll catch uh, like my parents or aunts and stuff. We'll, we'll watch like a Bollywood satellite channel. Mm-hmm. And so you get to see like little snips of Bollywood videos, and you get to see like their version of what they think America is. <laughs> yeah, like totally. the jeans and the sunglasses and the yeah. shirts. <laughs> Totally. Like Ed Hardy hit five years later right. than Hardy, us or something. Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. So totally. I always like seeing another country's version of what they think America <laughs> is because yeah. it's always a little off. A little, a yeah. lot of the world has yeah. to be Ed Hardy. A lot of the yeah. world is probably like American. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful American shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you seem uh, to assimilate to our culture well, which is why you're here. Did you have? <laughs> See, a, I took an immersion program. Uh, it was really hard to beat it out of it? me. <laughs> it was actually war- waterboarded out of me. <laughs> like. <laughs> Did you have a hardcore um, Afghan like upbringing. upbringing though, or no? No, my parents are pretty chill. I mean, obviously, I, culturally, I do have that background and baggage a little bit. It's tough when we were talking about it outside. How when you're first generation, you kind of have the burden of trying to uphold the old traditions, but then you're also very American too. So you're kind of torn between the mm-hmm, two. Mm-hmm. But there wasn't this crazy pressure, like you know, pray five times a day and blah blah blah. And there wait wasn't. a minute, wait no, a minute, no, no, no. you're not Christian. <laughs> oh fuck well this was God fun damn it before. god don't touch anything <laughs> no, not, sorry um so but they were praying five times a day or no no my mom would pray every every now and then and stuff but yeah. they would instill they would kind of now that i'm an adult i kind of realized it was just sort of like rocket fuel that they give their kids like all right i did my part yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> you know i can't say that i didn't right, uh, right. were you yeah. vlogging yourself and everything too <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, we were pretty well to do. We had somebody to do that for us. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, he's yeah, Boeing yeah. engineer, dude. Yeah. yeah. Wait, did we don't your dad, ourselves. Come your, on. Did your dad pray? No. He didn't have a... No. Son. My dad is even more Mom. moderate than... Wow. Well, yeah, right my, now, I he's listening like, will you stop telling people that shit? Yeah. Tell him I beat you. God. <laughs> and I'll tell you, yeah, he threw keys in my head one time because yeah. I left the garage door open. Yeah. Mm. I was like he just barged into the my bedroom. Yeah, and we live in like a really really like nice neighborhood. Just it's there's this woods. There's deer maybe that would break in, at at best you know. And the, I left the door open on accident because it was garbage day. And then I just wake up to my dad being like, "You left the door open," and he tries to like hit me, and then I, I dodged him. And I'm surprised that I dodged him. And I went downstairs, but I guess he just threw his keys at the last second and hit the back of my head. <laughs> Did you cry? Be honest. No, but I just like how that. He was good with that. Like once the keys hit my head, he wasn't he was like, angry anymore. Yeah. He's just like, all right, satisfied. It yeah. emotionally didn't fuck with you at all. What the keys at the head? I was old enough to handle it. Yeah. No, I know, but I mean, him being that upset, it doesn't make sense. Just my dad. Yeah, that kind of anger is not rational to me. But that's just like immigrant anger. Yeah. Yes. I remember my dad getting mad one time, and I fucking afterwards I was like, <laughs> I was like no. sixteen, seventeen. <laughs> He was mad at me because I borrowed. I remember I borrowed his golf clubs, and I didn't really know how to golf. But I started. I was like, I'm start, you know, doing it. And it was uh, during, I think, junior senior year of high school or something. 
and then it was Saturday, so he went golfing, and I didn't put one of his clubs back in his bag. Oh, fuck. And he called me, like, so fucking upset, and I was like, <gasps> and then he came back and got his his club out of the bag that I had put it in, and he was like, God damn it! And, like, just so upset, and I was like, <gasps> and then he left, and I was like, <laughs> Aww. I was like, I was really worked up about it. And then later on, he was like, I'm sorry, I probably terrified you. I was like, yeah, it's fucking nine iron, man. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. No, he was upset. I bought a wedge off Amazon. You know that like multi Do you golf? No, but I just, I go to the range sometimes. Yeah. It's basically a batting cage for adults, I guess. Mark Wahlberg does that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I see that on, on Instagram. He constantly. Oh, yeah. It, he, no, he puts it in his schedule. Yeah. He has 30 <laughs> minutes a day allocated for golf. Yeah, he loves it. Mm-hmm. And even when we did that, uh, when we shot the movie, he would um, sometimes play rounds of golf. Like, Would you have to wait? Like Mark's finishing one the day, back nine? Yes. Actually, oh, one day, yes. Actually, one day, yes. I was like, why aren't we shooting this thing? And they're like, Mark's playing golf. And I was like, oh, which by the way, I was like, makes sense to me. Um, he's a huge movie star. Right. And then they're like, no, he's playing golf in another city. Oh my so we God. have to wait for his flight to come in. I was like, oh my God. still makes sense. That's what I mean, you know, it's what he likes. Yeah. Yeah. I, n- literally nobody complained. It was like some. It is what it is. Yeah. They were just like some grip or something was like, yeah, he's flying back right now. I was like, oh, okay. Can we get back to dad anger? Yeah. It's funny. I think my dad was angry a lot now that yeah. I think back. It's hard to imagine <laughs> with your dad, but yeah. He's always so mad have, at me for shit. You have, you know, she has foreign parents. Yeah, 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 they're foreigners yeah. too. One time I backed up in, in the rain and I, there was a car parked long ways against the wall and I just fucking smashed into this guy's car. I was 16 years old and I just fucked this car. And he was, that was when he had the maddest at me, I think. Fucking up a car will really bring out dad rage. Yeah. So my older sister was in, by the time she was 18, Double digit car accidents. Oh my and, God. And an accident meaning even as simple as, you know, at a gas station, the island that the gas station sits on, like yeah. the, the gas pump. Yeah, yeah. She hit that. She backed into light poles. She uh, hit. She just She's like, like ping ponged off everything dude, in the. Yes. Yeah. No spatial awareness and just bl- pu- simply put, not a good driver. Right. You know, speeding tickets, running stops, like everything you could fuck up, she fucked up. And one time, I'll never forget. They had a um, in their in their bedroom. They had basically the bed on this side of the room, and on this side of the room where the TV was sitting, the the wall was also like custom cabinets. Like it was part of the wall, though. right? And my 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 sister got a speeding ticket. Called the house, told my mom, and my dad was opening a drawer in that like that wall built in as my mom told him and he pulled the whole thing out of the wall like he mm. removed like he was so upset that he was like fuck and pulled this whole wall off and she got a hundred she was going 105 and a 55 oh my god Jeez. that's just reckless yeah. though I've only gotten one ticket in my whole life. Really? Uh, yeah. Ever? For and it was what? in. And it was in like it was like the short drive to get to my parents' house in the development. It's uh-huh. such the lamest ticket too. But I did a deferral. You know what that is? Wait, where it was for going. What were you doing? I was probably doing like thirty and a twenty-five. But he made it sound like I was doing. I got a seven over, a literal seven over ticket in South Carolina once. So I was like seven I twenty over. That's in, a ticket. In Burbank. That's legit. That's legit. But I had to do community service and shit. Like a, oh. it was re- I was, yeah. I, so I worked uh, the library for a couple. I'm sorry, where? The, the li- library. Barry. The library. Oh, Barry. You're not sorry. pronouncing There's it. There's no R? Library. No. Library. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. But we're native speakers here. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, library. I've been saying it wrong my whole life. Jesus. I guess so. There's some other words we might teach you to pronounce while like you're what? here. Why don't you help them out? Oh, um... Uh, Shit, let me try to think right um, now. Salmon, right? Uh, so, yes, hard L. There's a hard L. Um, salmon. Especially, like if something's especially. Espresso. Right. You know? Espresso. Yeah, yeah. You order espresso. an espresso. espresso. That's right, yeah. You want a double espresso? Right. Oh, if you're especially tired, ex- you should get one. <laughs> similar. When yes. something's similar to something else. But you got to be real Pacific. Like when you say <laughs> it, Pacific. you got to be really Pacific so you don't confuse people, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? I don't know. Everything can kind of be a blessing in the skies when you that's really a think big about one. it. Yeah. Blessing that's a in big the sky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. That's a T-shirt, guys. Yeah. It's in this shot. <laughs> so there's all these things you're obviously learning while you're yeah, here. Yeah. This is don't a crash forget, course. Jeez. Um, goat face. 
Yeah, go for Tomorrow, it. here's a clip. Oh. <laughs> Comedy Central. You know that that was, that was great because uh, in my mind, I'm like, Oh, he has a clip. Who who gave him? Right, I thought gave him. Actually, gave him the clip. Or like, oh all... man, they're so studious. Yeah. Like they yeah. they they went and they dug it up yeah. somehow. This is... You know that absolutely everybody has fallen for. Yeah. Why musical. would you not? I know, I know, I know. I it's fall pretty for it great. Too. Every time yeah. I fall, and well, I, I have I have legit <laughs> gotten clips on certain things. So I'll, you know, we'll talk to the publicist and they give us a clip. But um, it's more fun for the person to be like, oh shit, here's for the sure. <laughs> but what if we have a sketch like that and I'm just sort of like. You're like yeah. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually one of my favorites. Is, we worked really hard on it. We worked really hard on the vomits. Now, <laughs> why is it called Goat Face? I don't know. I think when we were brainstorming as to what to call the group, we were just kind of free associating. And then somebody said goat. What if it's just like a goat's face? And then the pun came up like goat face killers. And that made us laugh oh. a little bit. And now then see, goat I thought it's because like, there's always like goat jokes about that you know they're oh your they're tribe. all goat fuckers is yeah. that oh, the joke there's, right. I guess there might be a might be of there. yeah oh okay I don't know well that's not what we were thinking about but oh, we'll it was see. pretty much the pun and then killers got lopped mm-hmm. off and we just we we stuck I, I'm with gonna call face. it goat fuckers instead I think that would be a real crowd draw don't you think oh yeah Maybe, yeah I watch a show called goat, goat fuckers, fuckers. <laughs> yeah what about goat <laughs> fucker yourself I like that <laughs> um. Go fucker your face. Did you guys, you, you got you and everybody in this shot sketches for years? Like, uh, well, so what happened was like, I mean, the genesis of it was I started doing stand-up in Seattle. So I was doing it for four years out there while I was getting my degree. I was doing mechanical engineering at UW. God, mechanical engineering. Yeah, mechanical. Jesus the Christ. The thing is my parents, like I wanted to do theater and shit and like all this because mm-hmm. I, I knew I wanted to do this type of stuff. And when you're young, you're like, oh, okay, I need a theater degree. <laughs> you're just dumb as shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you go, okay, I need I need a theater degree to do that. And then luckily my dad is like, if I'm paying for college, I'm not I'm not going to pay for a theater degree. Smart. And then I go, so I kept on getting more and more watered down. I was like, okay, what about an English degree? And he's like, no, I'm not going to pay some, for that. This by the way, real like dad shit too is like. Yeah. No, oh, especially immigrant dad yeah. too. Yeah, Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you're gonna all what? the time here in America, you're they'd be like, Paint your follow, face, follow your heart, song. Dylan. Whatever you want to yeah. do, Dylan. Yeah, yeah. Find yeah. yourself. Is if that's what you want to do, philosophy. Yeah. No. You. My, that was me my degree. Your, yeah. <laughs> I had to talk my parents into it because they were like, "What is philosophy? Oh. This is not degree." And I was like, "I'm gonna go to law school with it." And that's what I lied to them. And I was like, oh. "I'm just gonna go to law school. It's the only way you can get into law school." Is my philosophy parents degree. were thrilled I could put together a sentence. They were just like, "You can get <laughs> any degree." And we'll be real He's the happy. Dylan. Yeah. 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 I'm just Dylan. follow your yeah. heart, Dylan. So and then I was like, "What about <laughs> what about film?" And they're like, "No, no, no way. that's not real." No so way. engineering, <laughs> yeah, of course, engineering was the basement, pretty much. And I just knew I wanted. And your dad was not fucking around with this for sure. He wasn't right? fucking around. Like yeah. I, I was supposed to be a doctor. I was supposed to be a doctor oh my God, or, or course, like a dentist lawyer. or a lawyer. Yeah. So I was slumming it even with engineering. But he would pony up for engineering. And then I was like, "What type of engineering should I do?" And my best friend across the street was doing mechanical. So I was like, "I'll do mechanical. I'll get to hang out with my friend more around the university." So I chose mechanical. I just wanted to be out in four years. I didn't want to find myself because I knew I was I was trying to do this. You really knew. You knew then. Yeah, there's always a means to an end. So I was like, let me just, you know, just suck it up, get the degree, get a job, and then I could support myself. I could just apply for jobs in SoCal, and mm-hmm. then I can live out here and just do comedy at night and all that. And so that's how I got out here. And then, uh, but it was tough when you move. Where, where did you, you stand up out here, or where did you come from? I, I started here. You started in L.A. Yeah, that's so t- that always boggles my mind to start in L.A. Only because I didn't know any better, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Like, yeah. I didn't come out here like I got to do. Some of the thing about yeah. that when, you, yeah. when early on in your comedy career, how like ignorance is bliss. I tell people oh all the time, God. they're like, "That's what I should do." I'm like, "No, don't do that." I mean, you can like having perspective. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy to think like I would drive up from Long Beach almost every night after work to do yeah. like mics in the valley and shit. You know what I mean? Oh, I yeah. feel like, how long are we doing? I mean, like I've known, <clears throat> I've seen you yeah. at shows for, it's gotta be over a decade. Quite a right? while, yeah. 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 So then, but there's, when you move to, from a smaller market, cause I was doing well in Seattle, you can get up and you're kind of somebody in, in that yeah. smaller market scene. But eventually you gotta, you gotta leave. And when you go to a saturated place like New York or LA, you're nobody again, except you know how to write a joke. You just right. you just have like four years of experience under your belt, but yeah. you're still not getting up. So it was tough. I was creatively backlogged. I'm I'm not getting on stages really. It's just really hard to get up. So then I started making some sketches just uh, yeah. as a way to do that or just kind of as an outlet. And so I had this YouTube channel called Slezdog 2000. 
And I would just put videos up on there while I was doing stand-up around town. And then my buddy Aristotle, who went to USC film school, and he has like a real, he's a talented director and comedian as well. We became friends, and he liked the videos I was doing. We teamed up. Some of them went viral. And then we decided to, to add Hassan and Asif, because mm-hmm. it's more of an angle. Because me and him, it's not really a statement. I'm Afghan. He's half Greek, half Iranian. That's not really a thing. But we were like, if we add Asif and Hassan, that's kind of like four brown dudes who do yeah. just like regular, just dope sketch. It's not about auntie and uncle shit all the time. Yeah. Because we have very American sensibilities. Right. We all, we all grew up here. You know, I grew up on SNL. Isn't, that, in. isn't that interesting though that like, uh, I think that's more, uh, it's more indicative or like a reflection of ta- the time now that 15 or 20 years ago for sure, you guys would all be like, my, my, I talk like this. And yeah, my dad, my dad is like, what, no, what are you talking about? No. Like, yeah. Just like every sketch would be. Everything like, would be that. Yeah. And now it's like, you're like, I've, oh, I don't. I'm, yeah, I've yeah. always found, just in terms of comedy. But I like that stuff still. No, I'm it not, has I'm its not, place. It has its place. And, and sometimes it's really I funny. I mean, I remember that like, uh, someone told me like, uh, I mean, it was a few hours and they're like, you've never mentioned that your mom's from Peru. And I'm like, I almost yeah, think there's I mean, more power in that, I, though. I just never, it never occurred to me to... Sure. To, it wasn't like... But also, like, I grew up, like, pretty immersed, obviously, in American culture, and uh, so I it just it would wasn't be, like, it, Yeah, it would be disingenuous to you if you were to doing that. Sure, that's a part of you, but if yeah. you were playing up that angle, yeah. like, you would feel weird doing it. Sure, and, I, and I, I figured out a way to talk about it in a way that feels authentic yes. to me. And I've always been that way as well, yeah. too, where I, I'm my sensibilities are very American, but I do have that gear. It's always funny first, brown second. Like that's yeah, that's the second part of my identity. Do you find American and, and comedy is kind of number one? Brown and foreign people uh, being disappointed that sometimes. Got, yeah, like because because right? on the on, <laughs> on, on the, the come. Here's what's kind of annoying. Like, um, I think when say my background, say I'm Afghan, and sometimes I get these messages back in the day, and sometimes still now they're like, "Yo, come to my university, my MSA." Like it's a Muslim student organization come do our event and i know that if i did that event they would not like what i do right Right. they have an idea of what i do or they just see a skin and comedy and they add this equation and i just know if i were to do that event i would they would regret it i agree and then i do comedy or i would have to bend to make everyone happy yeah so it's just not a good thing and I think just foreigners, whenever they they kind of they want you to do the inside joke, which is like talk about uh, Middle Eastern or like yeah. Persians want you to talk about Persians. Of course, everyone likes. But the, it's such a shallow ceiling. Yeah, it's such a quick hit. And it's also whereas like, if you have someone who who who's hit who's like doing well on the mainstream level, it buoys the people way more than yeah. like doing a wedding here or an MSA event or some now Rose Festival. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's something like, you still deal with though, right? People are less so now because yeah. I've had, you know, I've done some late nights. I've, I've had, I have like a special and you know, the comedy central thing coming out. So it's the mainstream is kind of becoming more successful. Whereas when you don't have those things to be like, bro, talk about, You'll talk yeah. about this more. Or... How come we don't talk about our food more? <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. that way with women comics, too. It's kind of, we're still pigeonholed. Either you're a mother or you're a slut. That's so funny. And it's still not to the point, or you're a lesbian, so you're outside ah. of, of being fuckable, and therefore you're a, you're given a little more leeway to have a voice. But we're still not, it's still not there where you could be like, I'm just a person that tells jokes. I'm not your mom, I'm not the girl you want to fuck, and I'm not an unfuckable dyke. So... <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, well, there's yeah. no room for you. Here, there's okay? no room yet. Yeah, like, but it kind of look at the flyer. Yeah. It's called sluts only. <laughs> but, uh, but I, no, I feel the same way. Yeah, as a female comedian, like if you're actually saying something about the world, it's like, well, we don't really know what to do with you just yet. Yeah, it might happen another decade. And then also, I found the like the brown people. The they'll, brown they'll, they'll, people. I I don't know what the better term is, but like the brown people will they'll fuck with you. Once you get on the mainstream, they'll be like, "Yeah, that's my boy." Right. <laughs> but it's very yeah. hard on. The, there's a select few, and it's great. Yeah. Like, uh, there's nothing more I love than Afghan fans on the come up who who actually l- liked what I did. That's awesome for what it was. Sure. And are kind of seeing what's happening now instead of just like people are though, and it's not unique to one group. Are obsessed with hearing about their own. Oh yeah. Tribe always. Oh. It's we're tribal by nature, yes. right? Well, people but, love inside jokes, just inside yeah, baseball yeah. stuff. But yeah, you know what's interesting about Netflix is that 
I, when I had a meeting with them to go over when I did my first special there, they're like, we found out that research shows that it's not broken down by demographics the way you think it is. For instance, it's not only white women watching Orange is the New Black. You know what I'm saying? It's not all girls who look like Piper watching that shit. Like you'll have like the black woman in Minnesota. You'll have a dad in in L.A. watching it. So it's kind of just proven all these years of how they do television shows and they market shows to specific demos sure. and everything. Like that theory is completely fucked with Netflix now, which is great and yeah. interesting. Even I've, something with like Black Panther or Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah. Like, right. Oh, huh. Wait a minute. People want to see themselves? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're like it's revolutionary. Kind of, it kind of feels good a little bit. Like they, they proved it, right? But that like, white is... people would watch Asian people and For white sure. people are going to watch yeah. this and you yeah. can watch anything. Yeah. Yeah, That's not the point. white people yeah. will go see. Here's the thing: a white person will go see a good movie if it's good. But you anything know? that's so good like, works. Yeah, yeah, like they're not not going to be like, "What? There's a bunch of Asians in that? Oof. I want to see that." Right. Shit. <laughs> right. Like if it's good, it yeah. ends up you know that word of mouth still it will transcend. Just spread, it does transcend. And also too, just kind of being older now, even with the rap music, man. Remember when Eminem came out? Yeah. Like yeah. how fucking huge that was. Yes. It was unheard of. Yeah. Do you know how technically proficient he had to be at rapping I know. To, to make that crossover? I know. And then look at the landscape now. You have guys like Takeshi or you have Rich Rich Brian, who's an Asian kid. You can be yeah. anything in yeah. rap now. But Takeshi's terrible. But I know <laughs> Sure, but like, yeah. uh, Ooh, or like the Dr. Phil too. girl. Yes. She has yeah. a career. There's no barrier of bad, entry anymore. Bad girl, whatever. Bad baby bad or something. Baby, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, I know. Well, now with, with, the, um, with online access, anybody can throw up anything yeah. and be like, hey, I mean, there's guys with like, and girls with... Uh, YouTube followings from their fucking iPhone where like they now have like 19 million subscribers and it's just them putting out a video yeah. not even like a well shot thought out sketch just you know you throw out your personality people might respond to right. it yeah, it just happens yeah man. you kind of realize the people who these gate controllers and all that stuff it's just oh, monkeys it's picking stocks that's all yeah. it is yeah yes, they like to over. think that they're tapped into this thing but it's great seeing guys even in the comedy scene where seeing them take off and I know you didn't fuck with this person yeah. and because there's a there's an there's a pipeline directly to the people nowadays oh yeah you can't deny it and now they want to get on you know right Comedy Central Goat Face Fahim Anwar here's a clip you Jew motherfucker you we got wow. a lot of flack over that one but <laughs> I fell on the sword for that I go we're airing this yeah <laughs> or I walk yeah good job and, uh... yeah that's so really I walked away a, from the project. We have a rapper. We opened the show with a, a rapper, remember? We did? Yeah, and that lady that we played earlier, maybe he'd be interested in hearing her work. Oh, yeah. That is rap. That's right. I forgot about that. Do you like rap music? I love rap music. Okay, cool. What do Bitch, I'm Heidi Flies. Bitch, I'm Heidi Flies. Bitch, I'm Heidi Flies. Bitch, I'm Heidi Flies. I'm wet. Madam bitch, hoes on the strip. Yes, yeah, politics, politician shit. Hollywood madam bitch, make it gushy. Then kill the pussy. Is this like a mashup or? I yeah, like I think mushy. so. <laughs> Is this the same cohesive mushy. song or? Out in LA, first million four months, a <laughs> hundred racks a night. Count this money up. I mean, she's got good rhythm, obviously. Yeah. Count this money up. Where, where do you find this? Um, we're lucky in that people send things <laughs> oh, to us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I just like to think that you have she a does, pot of coffee uh, on and uh, this is your... This is my jam. It's going to be a long uh, night. She's an adult performer, that, that uh, rapper. It's multifaceted. She does anal. Yes, does oh. other things. Yeah. Lots of anal. I yeah. wouldn't have been able to tell just from Yeah, we that. looked That's it up. A lot thinking. of anal clips. <laughs> yeah. Are you? Uh, is that your kind of go-to? The when, anal? When you when you're doing a search, is it is it mostly anal or no? No, no, no. It's just rapping. Do you have lanes? Lanes <laughs> of uh, hardcore that you like? No. <laughs> Jesus, Tom. What kind I'm of question? Asking... Fahim doesn't even know you yeah, that come well. On, man. Man. Come on, man. Talking mom and dad are gonna listen to this. Yeah, my mom. No, they're not. Anything. He's Muslim. He doesn't do that shit. All right. I have come all over my face. Oh my okay. god. So. Um, <laughs> We have a fun segment we like to call Drugs or Mental Illness. And we play you a video and you tell us whether you think this person's high or, or mentally ill. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Okay, here we go. It's My a hard game. Ellen, there is a death curse being placed on the leader, on the president of Iran. I got it. And the Tola, the new Ayatollah. 
I'm going to say mentally ill. Me too. Yeah, I'm going to go mentally ill. I think you're right. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I'm glad it provided any services. How, how do we know? Uh, we never know. <laughs> or any kind of curse. It's just curses. the gut feeling in the room? My yeah. That's the consensus? Are, well, the delusion. Well, the delusion. Uh, really. Or I can drop the price and reduce it to $10,000. A lot of times, uh, after a, like a few set, a few episodes, Doctor Drew will come in, mm -hmm. and he's really good at spotting things that that they. Oh, he'll he'll like he'll look mention and, tells. And he'll, and, yeah. Yes, he'll look at even breathing patterns, look at the colors in the eye, the skin. He'll be like, mm, "That's pretty much definitely meth," and like <laughs> he's just really good. He's dissected <laughs> and, yeah. clips for us that yeah, we we've been like, "Whoa!" Like we had no idea. This, by the way, we have to show him this guy. Which four stroke gang? No, this guy. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah. 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 Where's my list? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Got it's called our, we call it the two Drew list. So we make sure that he sees. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, but this guy, I don't know. I think we're definitely on to something. If you want to do anything like this, you can contact with the YouTube services. I will check email that way. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad it had provided services of removing the curse. Any curse. So it sounds like there's a curse, though, on well, the uh, Ayatollah and the, uh, <laughs> and the president of Iran. This is just uh, put Iran president. Yeah. Curse. And Ayatollah. that was sent to you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, here's another one. Okay. I don't know if this is the same guy or not, but it says drugs or mental illness. Oh, glad oh, shit. oh same Sorry. guy. Oh, Sorry. Death curse. Maybe he's high on this one. Though. service for anyone who is a member of Hamas <laughs> and the Taliban. <laughs> okay. I think we all agree something's wrong, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be on a thread as well, too. Yeah. 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 Uh, shit. Did you know that there, well, remember that porn we played that was um, <laughs> about Saddam Hussein? The porn we played? Oh, Saddam, yeah. Not, not, no, sorry, that Osama bin Laden. Yeah, That's, it was like yeah. Taliban porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they raided, didn't he have like tons of hard drive of porn? Yes, like, yes, yes, he did. He did, he but did. this was like, um, let me see if, if I can... Uh, if I can pull this up. The Taliban porn? Well, this might get him all worked up. I don't know if he wants to. <laughs> but let's see if this happens. You know these guys. Here we go. Here we go. U.S. military forces are, are on their way from what I understand. And... Is this from Goatface? Or is it... <laughs> no? This is on the, the cutting room floor. This was cut for time. Yeah. It seems that time is running out for Osama bin Laden, and soon he'll fall into the hands of the Northern Alliance and the Special Forces. Oh, by the way, I think if you would have done this segment on uh, Goatface, uh -huh. big hit. I you think? Monster numbers, especially yeah. if you got this scene. I feel like we might alienate our base. <laughs> oh, here we go. Who is into this? Like, you got to really... Where do you get this actor? That's what I want to know. Oh, uh, this is... Um... <clears throat> Like, is this a Craigslist ad? Like, if you're the brown dude, oh, you know oh. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now, none of the higher ups at Comic Central said anything. There's just like, it, it, there's, there's humor here. Uh, <laughs> <Whoops. Jesus. laughs> Trying to get me in trouble on both sides. I'm sorry. Like, when I get knifed on the sidewalk. Sorry. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I like how the way they're like Veronica Kane in Afghanistan, yeah. like the whole country. And she's like, like, where do you think they actually shot that? Place. And they're like, uh, people are <laughs> telling like, me. Yeah, here. where do you think they actually Northridge? Because yeah. we yeah. did, we did, uh, I did that Whiskey Tango Foxtrot, that Tina Fey movie, and we did it in New Mexico. And so New Mexico just doubles just for like Afghanistan, that. I guess. Oh yeah, they're That's shooting funny. everything yeah. in New Mexico. It was in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. Did that come out? Wait, is that old? It was, movie? It's already out. It was like what, two years ago. That oh. yeah. Wow. Um, we've been really, really on one with Garth Brooks the last yeah few weeks, months really. Uh huh. Um, you like him? He's all right. I, I mean, I'm not a huge. Fan. I know of him. Yeah. Is he still like really big, or is it all about? Oh, he's enormous. he's huge. He's beyond anything. Is he like the Drake of country music? Yes. They're better, yeah. bigger, right? Really? Bigger, bigger. Is he still flying on harnesses like over the audience? I don't know. He's doing. Does some he still do Chris Gaines? No. No. Mm. Doesn't. That's when I tapped out. But they, uh, I was a huge Chris Gaines fan. <laughs> the commercials have been airing that um, his Notre Dame show is going to be is going to come. Oh, out. okay. Yeah. So that, the big that, ass stadium tour. The big ass stadium tour of which Notre Dame was the first stop, 
First concert ever in Notre Dame Stadium. Jeez. And now he's just going to do nothing but stadiums. He's there. He's uh, way uh, there, bro. Oh, yeah. Here he is talking. It's going to call a stadium tour for right now. It was supposed to be, it was going to be a college uh, tour. Uh-huh. But because of the cities, how they worked out, there's going to be some professional stadiums uh, in them as well. So we're just going to keep it at the stadium tour. But this one is going to be so special, so rare, and so far apart. We'll do about... We'll do, a, we'll do probably 10 to 12 a year for three years. Jesus. 10 to 12 a year for three What's years. What's with the defensive body language, guard? It's like he doesn't need it. It's like he doesn't need it, and it's like he doesn't dress up for his press conference either. Very individual, very unique. <laughs> so um, weird. His Why body is language is weird. You know what kind of reminds me? He reminds me of like Tommy from the store. I don't know. Did you ever interact <laughs> with him? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. He's, 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 definitely, he's got a little Tommy vibe with the bit. with the arms crossed and weird. the indifference to. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, this the is the stadium like, tour. Like, why is he disgusted by his own tour? This is probably the fifth or sixth different video, <laughs> months apart that we've watched, where he's wearing that same, same Nike outfit. shirt. He just wears that shirt. I, it's like it's, oh good, my it's God. a good shirt. Can I tell you what I figured out? What I know why he's goddamn weird. Why? why? I'm being serious. I think he might be slightly autistic. What? Uh, or Asperger. Uh, I'm serious. Now think about my fucking I, theory. Yeah, okay. I can buy into it. Because A, he mimics a lot of what he sees as being normal human behavior, and that's probably why he's not reading well on social media. Because he's not he's <sighs> really not relatable. Hmm. And all of his interviews are fucking weird and a little Aspergery, but he's really good at what he does. He's pretty meticulous, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go like a dash of Aspergers. I here. I like your theory. I'm a, serious. A dash, huh? Just he's fun, he's highly. I'm not saying he's like full, just a dash of Asperger. I'm gonna go. There. I like that. Yeah. I think he is. <laughs> Could be. Let's see if this gets more weird. Excited, scared, nervous, all the good things. I will say this: if the whole tour is going to be like Notre Dame, I don't know if I'll be able to handle it because this is a, this is the most work that I've ever. Had. Isn't that a weird thing to say? He's though? weird, but it, that's what I'm saying. He's but fucking I weird. Think it's Asperger's. A, it's an it's a weird offshoot of Asperger's where it's like a. With a dash of confidence, or like a, a heap of confidence. Well, there's it's a lot Aspergers of, with confidence. Yes, about, there are performers I mean, that have it though. Yeah, that a, are really successful. Yes. But this is a press conference about your tour, where you're like, "I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm excited. Honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to handle my own tour." Like he just said, if it, if it goes like true. he just said it, he's like, "If the rest of the tour goes like this, I honestly don't know if I'll be able to do it." What? Like, what are you talking about? You're not gonna be able to do your own tour? Yeah, because it's just too much. Well, then don't fucking Some do Some people tour. are insecure, though, and they double down the other way. E- oh, right. That, yeah, yeah. That's what I think is really happening. I think it's fake. I'm so, I don't know. Oh, I'm so, I don't know if it's going to go this way. Yeah, like, yeah, this, is the, this is the most work that I've ever, I don't know about work, but it's the most time I've ever put into anything. He reminds me of Ricky Gervais from The Office. Yeah, just, mm-hmm. just, the character. Yes. Yeah. David Brent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They want it to be the best night of their life when you walk in there. That's a wonderful advantage to have. Let's have Dr. Drew so watch him. Know. Yeah. Give it to them. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you're singing just to them. And that is easy in a honky talk, and it became easy in an arena. And that's what I'm hoping becomes easy in a stadium. He's about to cry. The furthest away and make them feel like they're front row. Oh boy. That's he's he's getting emotional there about putting on the show that'll change your life. It's weird, man. It is weird. Yeah. Something's going on. We have. Dr. Drew has to watch. What's going on is he's thinking about all the bodies he's got stacked in fucking graves on his and uh, his. You think yard, he's a killer? Hundred percent. Sure. He's probably killed two, three hundred people in his life. It's a good cover. Yeah. I don't know. I think so. I'm gonna go with it. Just a dash of Aspergers. Hmm. Did you shop for Black Friday? I know you've always no. mentioned to me that you're a huge. You stand shopper. in line overnight. I don't do that. What's the point? Oh you know my what God, I mean? That's so dumb. I think the only people who do it is like if it's a ritual, like the family. All right, mm-hmm. after we eat turkey, we this is the thing we've been doing for years. Yeah. Does yeah. anybody need to save that much money just for a thing? I think some people really can't stand the thought that they might not get the deal that somebody else got, and those are the people. There's actually a number of them. But don't you value value your time over like no. fifty bucks? I do. No. Those people don't. Huh. And then what about people... Cyber Monday? Just have it delivered to your house. Right. Am I gonna hit the, a thing? Uh, yeah. Well, I had a friend that's like, we, my my mother and I do it every year. Like you were saying, we take turns standing in line, so it's like a fun thing. I don't know. Mm. It sounds like torture to me. It sounds like the worst thing ever, especially if you can't get a refund. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> God damn it! Don't you laugh at me! Hey. Hey. Yes, you are. Who you can quit for me. 
Okay. It goes to your debit card directly. It won't let us. Yeah, and it's already out of my account, and I can show two of them? you that you've already taken my money. So you need to give me my cash. And if I end up on YouTube, I will personally sue your ass. I'm just talking money. Yeah. If we end up on YouTube, I will sue you. I'm not putting it on YouTube. No, I'm worry, talking. If it ends up on oh, Facebook, it's gonna end up. Facebook, it will not go. I will sue you. All right. Yeah, sure. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, because you can't record if you don't want to be recorded. No. And let me tell you, my attorney, I love you. Oh, okay. She has an attorney? She's There's no it. way they can afford an attorney. It's on YouTube now. <laughs> If she's asking for the fifty dollars back or whatever, she can't clearly can't afford it. Where do you think yeah, this is? Attorneys are very expensive. I'm gonna guess Ross. Um, Ross is probably a good no, guess. No, it's Sears. Oh, oh, well, that's not even there anymore, huh? Look at the detective Damn. here. Damn, I like how they're doing it from the baby. That's nice. I hope everyone does your fucking job. How do you feel about Sears going out of business? Okay, and I'm calling Sears too. Okay. Hey, what's your job? What's your point? These are these people are really giving white people a bad name i gotta yeah. say mm -hmm. this is a very white kind of feel to it yeah know? white trash though hey to be clear i don't know if i would call them white yeah trash. there's different levels of, of white i mean you know what i mean i was trying to be nice to them oh i'm not they're terrible people <laughs> these are garbage terrible, people terrible. do you think they're the same family or garbage. different or like four different white people wanting to get a refund oh no um, this, is, this is a no, garbage that's family. the crew they went <laughs> the crew yeah they mm -hmm. needed backup they go yeah. bring your baby Oh, yeah. yeah. God, the baby needs... Could you imagine being that baby? It sucks. It's terrible. This isn't your shitty family. God damn it. No. I know. Well, I wonder what this is over also, like what the item is, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah what, what do you think the cost is of the item? I don't what know. What are they squabbling over? 20 bucks? It's probably... It's less than 100. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The real game is like, is it $26? This would be a good Price is Right game. <laughs> just sort of like... <laughs> What's the amount? Just white trash. Yeah. Yeah. Yelling. What's pissing white trash off? Yeah, What's your good. point? You need to shut your damn mouth and stay out of it. I you have kids too. You should get you another job. A better job than being Clark at $10 an hour. Oh, okay. Ooh, she's so she's talk. talking talk. some shit. Now she's calling somebody out on their job. Uh -uh, I please tell us the amount if it's fucking... You're screaming at her point here. Did you get your money? Uh, oh, that is money. Bye. You yeah. can quit recording me before I knock it out of Bitch. your fucking hand. Bye. Knock it out of her hand. She'd have to mm. kick it out, though. Her hands are tied up. There's a Sears MasterCard application if you're interested. Mm -hmm. the end. So I don't know if that's something you'd want. I have a pair of pants that I bought from Sears, and I, I can't return them now. Oh. There's just nowhere to return There's them no to. Sear Didn't Kmart just shut down? Everywhere? Kmart's been gone for a long time. Really? No. You didn't know this? Kmart just wait, shut wait. down uh, uh, one of their stores last week, and it was a big deal. Are they still around? I thought they were done. Mm -mm. Do, they, you, do you remember when they like have, they have been closing uh, down just slowly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sears has been doing that too, and now yeah. I think they're finally like Damn. kaput. Mm. What's the K in Toys Kmart? R Us? Gone. Oh man, Toys that, R Us dude, is gone. That's a bummer. that hurts because I remember that was such a big part of my life. I Me remember too. I would get such a rush from going to Toys R Us and picking a Nintendo game. Do you remember like they they would have it right there and they would like get it for you? Mm -hmm. You'll never experience that again. It's just weird. There's like things about being older where technology advances, like like even buying a CD. Remember, you would go into Circuit City or Best Buy or Future Shop, or and you'd have to walk by washing machines and shit yeah. to, to actually get a CD. Yeah, and getting opening a CD used it to be like, in the cellophane and no no one na now it's just on your phone. Will, would know like the whole the ritual the ritual of being dropped off, you know, and then having. Man, there was a point where CDs were like getting like it was like sixteen ninety nine. They were getting yeah. pricey, pretty pricey. But you would seek out and then to hold it like the actual, and it had that security you know clamp. Yeah, around. yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Man, you have to that, get it unlocked. I love that ritual. That yeah, it was really fun, and and it always comes out on Tuesdays. Oh, for like the new releases. New releases, yeah. But in hindsight, you could understand why. The music in industry was kind of fucked because they were just bilking us for so long. Oh, CDs yeah. are what, 17, 20, 21 bucks, and there's three good songs on it. Oh my God. Now we pay what, like 10 bucks a month for Spotify? Yeah. yeah. Every so song fair. in the universe. Not to mention the uh, what you were, the, the actual cost of producing that, that actual item was like pennies. Yeah. So you were just, you know, I mean, obviously you're not paying just for the, to hold it, you're paying for the content, but. They really were robbing us. But you got the booklet and you got to flip through booklet, it. Booklet, lyrics, read the yeah. lyrics. Oh, lyrics are fun. I liked albums even. You could do your homework on the album cover. Yeah. Write out your shit. 
Yeah. I remember when all the rappers started doing double disc and triple discs. Damn. And I thought it was so great as a kid. Like, yeah, more content. Like, yeah, more songs. Mm-hmm. But in hindsight, you're like, do some editing. Not all of these are yeah, bangers. They're not all There's winners, a lot of garbage bro. on here. So we've been talking all this uh, Garth stuff. And we got an email that said, um, I brought up Garth Brooks when I saw an advertisement for one of his shows during Thanksgiving, which was obviously yeah. the, the big and the Notre Dame one, in an attempt to expose how crazy Garth <laughs> Garth was to my relatives. Instead, I got roped into a six-hour conversation with my grandfather, which led me to watching two full-length live Garth concerts in oh, both no. New York City and Dublin, as well as listening to four Garth albums. Oh, <laughs> I tried my God. to tell my grandfather that I only know Garth from your mom's house, but now he thinks I'm a huge fan of country music and especially <laughs> Garth. Quite literally, until my grandfather dies, I will now need to pretend I love Garth Brooks. <laughs> so in short... Fuck you. <laughs> Keep it high and tight. Steven. Yeah. Nice. I really like that. That's Damn. good. That is good stuff. <laughs> Fuck, man. Well, that's kind of nice. A stronger yeah. bond. Yeah. But now he has to keep this facade of loving Garth Brooks. So he was probably like, have you seen Garth Brooks? And his grandfather was like, you like him too? He's like, well, <laughs> yeah. And then it just went downhill from there. God damn. Um, here's a, oh, a scrum solution. Oh, okay. Um, when you date, are you dating? Do you have a trying to? Are you yeah. trying to? Oh, you're about to be on a big TV show on Comedy Central. Okay, yeah, we'll see. So you're gonna start getting some of those hot submissions like I get from <laughs> hot, hot chicks. Oh yeah. Do yeah. we talk about this on on the show yet? About getting the oh yeah, you said you get hit well, up like once oh, we every talk- five years. We were or something. talking about this. Oh right, right before we hit record, uh-huh. uh, we were at dinner the other night, and Christina goes, um, we "We're having a dinner with a couple," and then. Uh, they said that, you know, the wife said that she sees emails for her husband. And then Christina goes, Tom, do you get hit, hit up a lot? Like uh, now that you're, you know, touring and put out specials, like do our chick just hitting on you? I'm like, yeah, about once every five <laughs> years, I'll get an email or some message from a woman. Or uh-huh. I, it'll look like right. it's from a woman. Um, but like dudes weekly will be like, you're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I'll be like, cool, like you know, Instagram yeah. stuff. They'll be like, great special. It doesn't hurt that you're easy on the eyes. I just think there's less like, of a filter with with gay guys. guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Because like, I'll get that too. And then also, I think like black chicks are into me as well. Oh, really nice. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what that what it is. Why that demo? Yeah. Hmm. Do you, uh, maybe I'm like a light skinned black. Have you I'm like ever? Swiss Beats or oh, something? Maybe. Right. Oh yeah. I have you know. ever hooked up? With a fan, like somebody who messaged you, like I'm, a, you know, you're hilarious, and then meet them. No, never. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is you gonna you're gonna do it now? I assume. I don't know. So let's you see. never even like entertain the idea. Like let's it say sounds fun. You know what I mean? But, but like, like Instagram, Instagram is photos. Mm-hmm. Like somebody goes like, "Oh my god, you're so funny," and you see it's a girl. You've never been like. Hey, she. I'll be intrigued. I'll be. I'll, I'll okay. look. Yeah. And then, nothing. No pursuit at all. Uh. Well, sometimes logistically, they just sort of like, it's like when a 13-year-old girl says, marry me Bieber or whatever. Oh, right. You know? Like, right. yeah. You seem so emotionally mature. Thanks. Is this is a mechanical engineering <laughs> side Maybe. Maybe out? I'm too practical. <laughs> yeah. You're like, look, you live too far away. Yeah. yeah well, also, I've thought about this too. Like, as you get older, like in your in your 20s, like you'll you'll chase a girl everywhere. They'll be like, hey, we're at this, we're at this bar. Come here. And you're like, okay. We're in Riverside. All right. I'm on my way. Like, you just follow them everywhere. You don't think about anything. And then when you get older, you just kind of like, you can do the math where they're like, hey, we're at this bar. And then your mind, okay, it's one thirty. She's from out of town. Mm. She's f- with four of her friends. Like, you, you just crunch the numbers and you're like, I'm not doing this, this. is nothing. Yeah, this is nothing. You're describing me at my thinking at 21. I was like, <laughs> I'm tired. I, I just, that's what I always say. I was like, I never pursued anything that didn't just kind of show up. Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't into effort. I was like, what? We're yeah. gonna go to another place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Terrible. Yeah, it was terrible. That's probably why you and I lasted, and we. I mean, I basically was like, just come like over. You. We'll go to a bar. Yeah, that was. I was yeah, like, yeah, I'm good right. at hitting balls that are caught to me, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm not the <laughs> yo, what up, girl? Like, yeah. Oh, who'd you get into? I love your face. <laughs> yeah, that's probably smarter. <laughs> yeah. Because you know the girl face. likes you already. Your face is so hot, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that, but that's good because you don't want to have to fight some chick to like you. That's terrible. Would you consider possibly um, putting out like a a video like this to like just to get the ladies? You know what I mean? <laughs> good rising, oh hi babe, on this great Saturday. I've been looking at your pictures so long, babe, and they mat and they 
magnify my eyes, baby. Yeah. I turn into a telescope when I see your page. Nice. You feel so good to me, babe, that when I meet you and you talk to me, I want you to melt me like hot chocolate candy do. And not with hot breath, but with cool. See, I picture you like that. <laughs> like that's my game? Like, yeah. Uh, I just throw on some aviators. And then you're like, I turn into a telescope. <laughs> when I see you, I melt like hot chocolate. He thought that was like a hot bar right there. Like a girl's going to be like, damn, a telescope? A telescope, that's sexy as <laughs> hell. That makes sense. Tell us, when I see you, I turn into a telescope. What, yeah. what does that mean? Uh, it's it's I mental I think he was illness. trying to say that I really look at your picture when I see it, but uh came out the way he put it, which is True. kind of cooler. What, you, what are you going to go for, drugs or mental illness on that one? I think that's just his dick That's role. swag. That's too much swag, yeah. I think. Oh. I'm going to go drunk, old school. Alcohol abuse? Pot? Yeah, okay. I'm going to uh, go double. Yeah. So a the, lot of drugs and alcohol. I think it might be a little booze in there. Yeah. Um, here is a, uh, a message though about, uh, it's called the scrum solution. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like when you do date a girl though, you ever eat her, ask her to eat your scrum or something like that? No. Okay. Um, this one says, Hey Hitlers, I may have a solution <laughs> to getting Christina over her scrum eating no. phobia. Not interested. Get tongue in my asshole. Dude, it's my never triple D happen. slut girlfriend and I have been together for three years now. <laughs> And never once had she ate or even offered to eat my scrum. Obviously, I was very frustrated at how inconsiderate and rude she was being, as I am as well. Finally, the strategy that worked for me was to no longer bring up my browns. The discussion of size, shape, smell, and frequency is now off the table. One month ago, today, while she and I were practicing for her 69th birthday, <laughs> I kept telling her to sniff those balls but she kept okay. wandering further south. I okay. finally gave in and I let her eat my scrum for the first time and it was truly a life-changing experience. It has now become a frequent event that she will eat my scrum and then I give her her reward. Okay. Anyway, it's a real Sophie's choice. Good luck. Piss on me and beat me, Chad W. That's a nice message, Chad. Thanks so much for that. How does my asshole smell, huh? So what do you think? Maybe we stop talking about brown and then no. maybe your tongue wanders south? I would rather talk about brown and enjoy the talks than eat your scrum. Do you know what I mean? Like no, if I I'm don't talking know what about mean. what I'd prefer, what how much joy? Is scrum taint or what? Yeah, it's well, so a little nasty. further back there. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna yeah. do it. It's never it's happened. Be hole adjacent. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, will you give her a little uh, encouragement? No. It's really not my place. That's kind of, that's Come you on, guys. Fahim. I have a question. Right, do it. <laughs> Fahim, I have a question for you. you. Let's say you've just eaten a bunch of Afghan food, right? Right. This is a and... great segue from Scrum. This is, that, this is like a free associate. You're like, speaking of Scrum, Afghan food. <laughs> Tell me about it. You've just had a big plate of mom's cooking. Uh -huh. And it's the Which next Which is like morning. what? Give us a yeah, couple what do you of words. Have? What would it be? Uh, it's like rice and meat based, I would guess, sort of, uh, if I had to say what it is. Yeah, maybe like chicken and rice or like lamb oh, with and some rice, spices beef. or sauce or something. Kind of like, like in a korma, which is kind of like, um, like a curry. Yeah. Oof, okay. There you, there you go. Perfect. Okay. So you've had your curry and it's the morning and you're dump, dump, dumping and it's a messy brown and you go to wipe. And you just go, like, you know when you wipe and you're like, oh, boy, this is a disaster. Like, this is going to require a lot of cleanup, right? right? So we have a, a total washlet. Have you ever used that? A washlet? It's like sprays water and you put ah, like a bidet. Sort of bidet, yeah. But my question is, what do you do in that? Like, do you just go to shower? What do you mean? Like, you wipe, 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 but the brown keeps coming down. Uh, like yeah. a never-ending wipe yeah. scenario. But how come when you go in the shower and then you wash it with soap and water, the never-ending wipe stops? What's your theory? You got a lot of cascading water. So, although you visually can't see all the... It's it's working. It, the, you think it's just the cleaning of the brown? It's just the water cascading down your butthole. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's my guess. I do, I do a toilet paper baby wipe combo. You do? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how do you feel about that? That bidet, that that that. I'm not there shot. yet. I'm yeah. I have no idea how I would feel about it. I've never done you it. Never tried you, it. Okay. No. Where would I go? I don't have fancy friends. Do you have to okay. make a brown right now? No, I okay. wish. That's very flattering. Like no one <laughs> would ever say, "Do you have to please take a shit in my toilet?" Oh, oh yeah, we ain't normally, normally, normally it's like take a shit in the lobby. 
don't do it in my hotel room. Oh, but well, you guys are the opposite. You're hotel like, Pete, rooms a little go different. outside. Tell yeah. me when you want to do a dump. We yeah, do. Yeah. We encourage people to brown here. Yeah, we do. Wow, you're you're a rare breed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you're like the only people who are like that. What is your take, by the way? Your yeah. your gut reaction is this horrible or hilarious? Oh come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, he laughed. You're sick inside, too. If he's okay, it's hilarious. He's not okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see a smile from you, too. The, the sound of him yelling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's the, funny. The well yeah. thing is The kind of sounds are funny. Well, also, yeah. also, the ting. Yeah. <laughs> the ting. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> the, Here's a... Uh, look at the slow-mo. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> the scream is funny, though. It's less funny than slow mo. Yeah, you're right. Real time. Yeah. Brutal. Is I mean, that definitely hurt. That hurt like hell, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> but him going, oh, fuck. Yeah. Just the realization of impending doom. That's yeah. scary. At, at the apex is yeah, very comical. There's also like, a, like the. When he landed on this rail, like when he hit the railing, that probably broke something. <laughs> and then when he when he fell here, um, it's an additional hit. You know, like before he died, it definitely he didn't that die. Was, he's dead. That's what it says here. He says he died. Oh, stop! I'm just. Kidding. <laughs> he was screaming when he was. Like, <laughs> she was like, "What? Like, why are we playing this?" When you lay in bed at night, Tom, do yeah. you just have this on a loop in your earbuds? <laughs> it pretty and much. then you're like, have you seen good night. A video, I don't know how to dig it up, but there's this like little kid on a bike. He's like learning how to ride a bike for the first time. And he's like, whoa, whoa. And then he's like, there's a tree right there. And he goes, nga. No. <laughs> he, like, he goes, nga. <laughs> and then he hits the tree and falls no. down. It's the funniest shit. Oh. Like, I've laughed so hard at that. Especially just him saying, I like, I mean, there's certain sounds that are just funny. Oh, always. no, please you not. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Figuring it out. Oh. You know? Oh. He's trying to, fix, trying to figure it out. <laughs> learning, man. You're learning. Wait, wait. Play, play the first part again. Did he just run into him? Yeah. He's just backing up. But you know. You gotta ease off the clutch. <laughs> just give it a little bit more, man. Back it up. Not too much. Sounds like a threat, the rev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's like, there's more where that comes. Yeah. But I mean, there's just funny stuff like that saying It's all not the time. funny. It's yeah. not okay. Yeah. No. He's yep. okay. He's alive. He's fine. He actually, we learned that he was fine. Oh. It was okay. a big story in Taiwan when it happened. Right. Seriously. Seriously. No. No, no, I swear to you. How? How? Yeah, how's that a big story in Taiwan? Well, because it went viral uh -huh. and it was fr it was in Taiwan. Uh, okay. So then it was in the news and people were like, is this guy dead? His legs shattered. Turned out he just had bruises. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. This wasn't because uh, some people thought for sure the legs were amputated, but no, they weren't. Yeah. Yeah. Makes me feel better about it. Yeah. Yeah. He laughed pretty hard, let's be mm -hmm. honest. That's how he laughed. No, <laughs> I'm saying you laughed pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he enjoyed it. Guys. Christina's always like weirded out when I show it to people. It's because I'm a mother and I hate seeing people getting hurt. Men are destroyers. Women are creators. You know what I mean? Yeah. I create life. You guys fucking kill each other. Yeah. Serial killers, all male, mostly. Murderers, male, mostly. Hmm. That's a good point. It's not um, just fucking theory. It's would truth. you rather sit through a 24-hour performance of... Here's I'm, I'm going to give you choices, okay? Of this... <laughs> So it's just, it's just this. 24 hours. Is this Yoko Ono? Uh, I, I, I'm going to kill you myself already. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Okay, so 
do you want 24 hours of that? No. Or 24, 24 hours in a row. Oh, fuck. This is a vocal performer. <laughs> 24 hours. I'm going to go this guy. Or. It's annoying, but. Oh, so far they're both very annoying. Or 24 hours. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. How does he have this large of an audience? Oh. Oh. Yeah. This guy moves tickets. This guy really sells tickets. <laughs> I mean, I think. As a comedian, when you watch this stuff and you see people busting up in the crowd, don't you die inside? Yes. Die? It makes us so Or angry. go into a homicidal rage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're like, wow, what an amazing skill. It's so dumb. So. Yeah. Which is, give me the order of worst, the worst one all the way down. I'm going to go, oof. It's, a, it's tough between the screaming guy. Yeah. And this last one with the mustache. Mm -hmm. As the worst. I think so. Over the drumming lady. Drumming? Who's you don't have to look at them. You know what a drum sounds like. It's very passive. This is performance drumming. It's not even real drumming. It's like drumming You don't have to see their eyes. It's like a bear rummaging through <laughs> what the fuck? trash. Look at him watching. <laughs> look at them watching like I it's a real this. thing. Like, <laughs> yes, this is art. It's look at so his, crazy. Oh, this piece of shit. Look at him. I know. You guys are watching this Slam stupid bitch. Drum down. This is so dumb. Oh, I can't some believe life. people buy into this shit. Look at this guy analyzing it like it's real in the He's corner. He's fascinating. He's like, yes, yeah. art. Yeah, that's cool. So you think. This is really hard. See, that's supposed to Because be. I didn't see him go that violent on the drum, and that's right. really annoying. I thought it was just sort of like... Is it a girl? I think it's a guy. Oh my Long God. hair guy, yeah. The egos on these three. I, I think <sighs> middle, actually, middle guy, definitely, I can't do. That's just too great. The voice guy. Mm. <laughs> that guy. Okay, so that's the worst? That's the worst for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Second place, go ahead. It's hard. It's hard to figure out. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't do five seconds. Anymore. 24 hours. Yo, what if they did like a Watch the Throne tour? This guy and the last guy. People, minds are blown. Oh, like, yeah. Holy shit. As in suicidally blown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're on a stage that just like floats over everybody like Kanye, you know? Mm. See, I'm, I'm struggling here because I feel like the drummer I want to punch... Straight in the fucking mouth for thinking that he's uh, putting on a show. a show. Yeah, this guy, I realize he does a specific thing, and in its own weird way, he can actually do this bullshit well. Mm -hmm. But I want, I want him dead, a hundred percent. So those are the struggle for me because now, I, now that I see all three together, the hand boning guy is definitely the most tolerable. The clapping guy, I, I agree with you. I, but okay. here's the thing: Fahim brings up an excellent point: is the rage. And yes. um, I would, I imagine myself watching him do this horse shit, people laughing and the torture of the audience enjoying uh, that yeah. might set me off even more than mm. the drumming and the screaming. So there's two layers to it. Right. With it's, the drumming, it's just everyone's it's just quiet an, it's annoying. and you just have to get through this. Yeah. Right. But then the emotional component to the stupid ham boning, it adds another layer of triggering layer for me. So I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go number one on the ham boning guy because it pisses me. It's. Yeah. This is the most offensive. Second place, the drummer. Third place, this is fine. This this is just a homeless guy in my mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like a homeless guy in an alley. It's like, big deal. Some guy on the subway is crazy. 24 hours, though. That's hey. Dope. But the ham boner would make any, me go nuts. Really? Any prize? Because or is it just I think the drummer I hate the most. I think I hate the drummer the most. The drummer? I yeah. think so. Um, <clears throat> we're always fucking pointing out how nasty and inappropriate people are in different scenarios sometimes in public so we got a, an email that said i recently started listening to the podcast and i've been listening glassing through the back catalog back in episode 398 i heard you talk about sandals specifically stinky funky ugly ass birkenstocks 
I think that's the official shoe of Seattle. Right. Um, I don't know yet if you got the blowback you were expecting from the low and loose dirt burke wearers, but I'm 100% with you totally smelling your asshole on this one. I don't know if you classy celebrity country club folk are anything like the <laughs> modest non-binary Zer from Canada, but I see some real nasty-ass pictures people post in swap and sell groups on Facebook of their like new and uh -uh. only worn once no, shit sandals. Bro. Some of them look like the person may have been burned to death wearing them, mm -mm. leaving the imprint oh, on there for eternity. I took a, f a few screenshots to share with you, but now, or to share with my brother, now I'm going to share them with you. Keep those jeans high and tight and those purples big and mushy. Kevin, people are fucking uh, like, oh. <gasps> Look, only worn two times. No, bitch. Ugh. 22 times. That's bullshit. Ugh. This is... How much do those cost uh, new? Uh, That's what I'm saying. $100, maybe? Really? Are they 100 bucks? bucks? I think they're pretty well-made shoes. I know people shoes. love their Birkins. Worn twice, but they bullshit, are Bullshit, bitch. That ain't worn twice. Ugh. Uh, no. <laughs> Barely worn. My feet change sizes. I can't wear them anymore. Ugh. Ugh. I think... People's criterion for barely worn in the Birkenstock community is a bit different. These are totally faded. Look Ew, how, and look I at mean, the indentations of the toes. Even. I know. Like, uh. is, there, is, there like a market, look, is there a market for that? Like, it must, oh, these are 10 bucks. <laughs> these, this person was like, <laughs> I gotta get some. Like, let's see are, how I have they friends are. and stuff who will have raw denim jeans that were worn by a Japanese guy for like two years. Like Bobby Lee will do that where he'll pay, there's like this company where like you're paying a premium for people having worn them in for you. Oh, that's funny. So pants you can handle, but like that's funny. Shoes are too gross. Uh huh. I think so. Uh, yeah. I couldn't yeah. handle pants. I don't. I don't. I don't want, want anyone. I don't. I don't want badge. pants either. Yeah. So here we go. Birkenstocks. They're expensive. One hundred and thirty nine dollars. Oh shit. One hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. So this is a high ticket item. You know I what you do? See why people would buy them? You get used. some other shit. You just be like, those aren't for me. Yeah, get yeah. the rung below Birkenstock. The yeah. hundred dollar shoes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've I've so wanted nasty. nice shit that I couldn't get, and I was like, well, I guess I just won't buy that. Yeah. <laughs> or just wait, wait a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Save up. You know, I'd be like, I have forty dollars now, so I'll just put that aside. But how then... funny was it if they want to stunt on their like granola friends? They go, Check oh, cool, out. nice stunt. new, nice new Birkenstocks. You go, yeah. But in the back of your mind, you know they're secondhand. Secondhand. <laughs> That's the only reason to get them secondhand. Somebody wore these to a festival already, and I'm fucking flexing on these fools <laughs> right now. I'm so torn on the Birkenstock because on the one hand. Imagine the comfort you must feel wearing them. They do look like the ultimate comfort. I've shoe. talked to people who said, Why they're are they so amazing. great? I don't, I don't get know. it. I'm I don't know. Sure, they're flexible. Your foot well, is free. I think part of what's um, amazing about them, like, I mean, levels of it, is number one, the ease of putting on and taking off. Yeah. Right? Isn't that any sandal? Yeah, but I no, mean, like, I'm just saying that's one component, right? Okay. And then the I talked to a couple of Birkenstocks fanatics who were like, they are so unbelievably comfortable, and you wear through them like they're so comfortable. But you eventually wear through them. You know, you have to re up those those shoes. I guess fairly often, mm -hmm. but they're like I know a couple of people that are obsessed with them. They they really love them. I I never. I just my problem is they're so unfashionable. Yeah. And I'm not a big fashionista, but they're so unfuckable. Like you're just, ugh, you're really giving in to yeah. not having sex. I don't again. like that. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the look. No. I mean, I've seen you wear them on stage, but I think that's just yeah. Real. That's just part of my stage persona. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I compost on stage too. It's kind of a new thing that I'm doing. It takes a while, but I had a landlady that composted, and she'd get mad if I didn't put my table scraps on her compost heap. Um, and I was like, mm, I'm just not gonna do that. Geez. I'm not doing it. Why don't you put your Did trash put on the thing on? What's wrong, Tom? Sorry, I'm just looking at something that a uh, message came in. All right. Um, what about uh, dates? Are you doing any road dates coming up? I'm. Uh, I was teaming up with Neil. You know, I was opening for him on his tour. Oh yeah, how'd it his go? Here we go tour. Good. Uh, we took November off, so we're back on December. I think we're doing L.A., Denver, and San Diego and Arizona. All right. Yeah, and then. Yeah, I'm just like around LA. I don't have anything on the books yet, but I think the promo goat face, I might get some road dates set up. Great, great. Nice. Yeah. Very um, cool. And let's encourage everybody uh, to, if you're listening to this episode as it comes out, uh, watch Goat, goat face. face. That'd be great. Comedy Central. Yeah. Comedy Central, um, 10 p.m., November 27th. Wonderful. Yeah. And then hey. I have a special called There's No Business Like Show Business. 
Comedy Central licensed it, so I think you watch it for free on their website. And then it's also on Amazon Prime. Great. Beautiful. We love Amazon Prime. Yeah. It's good. And then I have a podcast too called Fahim Anwar Dance Hour. So. Fahim oh. Anwar Dance, Dance Hour. Hour. A N W A R is your you've, last name. Uh, you've put out some hilarious videos. You know what? Like one of the first times we chatted um, it was in the like backstage of the main room at the comedy store. Yeah. And you were in your space. I didn't want to bother you. And you're like, oh, I saw. I saw I Don't Dance, that Brent Weinbach short film. Yeah. And you were really into it. And yeah. I, that was really cool for me. I love it. Because I didn't, you don't know who watches what. Yeah, or, yeah. It was really that funny. came your way. Can people just Google that? It's on Vimeo. It's yeah, on Vimeo? it's called I Don't Dance. I love Brent. He's, he's just such, such a weird comedy brain. He is, man. He's so There's funny. no one like him. Nobody. Mm-hmm. Um, well, please support Fahim. And uh, thanks for coming. Gene, is there anything else you want to add? No, I love you. I love you. Uh, thanks again for coming, man. Thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Here's a young Patreon, uh, Scrum Dog Millionaire, produced by DJ JP Sounds. We'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Young Patreon. Back up in that motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs>